Yeah. <laughs> it, it rises to the rhetorical occasion, if I if I may say so myself. And yeah, Ant with the uh, the villager, and well, we were, we were talking about is uh, Nit <laughs> is Nit is Nitro still playing Sonic? Well, here's our answer: Sonic's on the screen. And yeah, well, I, I I feel like Richter would be a bad pick? Question mark against villager? Yeah. I'm, I'm not I'm not super knowledgeable on Richter's bad matchups, but I feel like anyone that can like out camp him or outrange him uh -huh. it can be really good. Cool. And I feel like Villager kind of has that because of the uh, the void. Yeah. The void's such a good such a good tool in like projectile versus projectile matchups yeah. because it is a projectile and it like blocks other projectiles. Your other yeah other projectiles. And there's that jab on shield. Um, I don't know if you saw that. Uh, there's a video that Gamer put out recently. If you uh, jab someone's shield 11 times, and you get a frame one invincible roll out of it. You go for every punishes after. I wonder if he uh, was going for that uh, option <laughs> overall. Really? That's, that's nice. Yeah, you see. That's be that specific number. Yeah, it's uh, there's a like in-game mechanic that if you hit a shield 11 times. Oh, shield. speaking of hitting a shield. Oh, he goes to the tree. Has like you know, if you're a villager, there's a tree there. Your opponent's shield broken. You have any option in the world that you can go for, and uh, yeah. the tree's the one that he picked. <laughs> hey man, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta get the job done. Right. Could have gone for anything. Bowling balls, some crazy uh, gyros, uh, gyros. Oh man, there's the boring smash. Yeah, Sonic and, F smash, uh, very, very large. And I was anticipating when they went, you know, when I saw Villager and Sonic on the screen, I was like, man, we're in for a. Uh, I'll call it fun, a fun matchup to, yeah. to watch. Uh, fun, you know, I'm taking liberties, of course, from the definition of it. But they're not wasting any time. They're just kind of going in at each other and making it happen. Yeah, homing attack can give Nitro some very aggressive mix-ups after the that on the shield. Yeah, I like the grab there. Going to double. No, not the out of there. But at least gets the one up there. And... You know, I'm, I'm curious to see how this is going to play out. And, you know, you have uh, Nitro pulling into the lead. And, you know, if you're Ant, you kind of got to be a little worried about the momentum overall of the set because, you know, you got your lead on the, the tree and the shield break that you're not be able to get it every time. And, of course, Nitro, big plays, back you're off stage. Definitely abusing that villager recovery. It can go the distance, but it doesn't have the hitbox. Got to be aware of when you're using that and fighting against it as well. Yeah, let's see if Ant has any sort of answers. Uh, and gets a little bit with a dash attack and the pot coming out, but it, it almost looks like he's just have, having a little bit of trouble corralling Sonic and his uh, speed. One of the rare times that you see, you know, Sonic's aggressive options being uh, the go-to. Oh, here's the tree. Had to get out of there. Good setup overall. Yeah. Really solid stuff, and Ant just scaring him into that situation there. Really, really good condition, but now pretty much an even game here. Gonna get the grab, but already Nitro is starting to pull ahead with this damage. Yeah, this kind of has a read on any of the neutral options, but don't look now. Ant answering a little bit, able to make up some percentage, and just chipping away at it. And now he's kind of going, he was, you know, I think he was getting caught asleep a little bit at the wheel going yeah. to the projectile game, and now he's just kind of really playing the Sonic matchup and trying to, uh, he went right back to the projectile wall and got punished for it. Exactly. But, I mean, now, slowly attacking his way on, he's got the ledge trap, but Nitro just able to make his way back on stage again, time and time again, honestly. I almost want to see if he can get his, uh, you know, as hard as it is with Sonic moving so fast, a lot of his big, you know, big damage plays has been when he's gotten his tree out. Let's see if he's able to set up. Here we go. He's able to get it, and he's in business. Yeah, he will have access to this axe as a confirmed order to wall. Kill. And you can also jump out of shield, dude. It's so sick. Uh, Nitro playing it smart, able to wait out the tree, and Ant definitely in trouble off stage. The villagers recovery. And so much damage on him. You know, one, one solid back there from Sonic might be all that she wrote. Yeah, last dog situation here. Uh, Nitro not so much as Joe percent, but definitely Ant is that quarter almost did it. And he's gonna go after him off stage. It looks like uh, that, that's actually really smart on Ant's part, removing, trying to do his best to remove the back air from the edge guard equation by going deep underneath the stage. Yeah, really, really good stuff. And he was able to avoid 
the spring as well. Usually that's the thing that will hit you going low. Oh, oh man. That almost got the man. read. <laughs> that would have been your soul, but the backer out of shield will do it here for Nitro. Going to take game number one versus the man. That Inland Empire is in the building. We got uh, I'm hip and I'm hype right now. I can hear him in the background on the microphones, I bet. If you can't, you're missing out. Uh, that's why you got to be here at Wednesday Night Fights to yeah. experience the mainstay, uh, you know, the, the non-player pop-offs coming out from uh, I'm hip. But yeah, that was an interesting match. Uh, you know, it's uh, Nitro did a good job making the plays that he really needed to uh, when he needed to. Um, and got some big plays of his own, got the, the shield break. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see if he's able to really, you know, as I was mentioning, it looked like every time that he was trying to play two standard villager, two projectile wall can't be, that's when Nitro was really able to get in and punish him with Sonic. Exactly. It was only when he was playing the almost uh, unorthodox counter villager with, uh, you know, rogue down airs and neutral airs instead of uh, projectile wall that he was getting a lot of mileage out of it. So let's see the adaptations he's able to make. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. It's going to be a little rough, but definitely doable, I feel. We'll see what the stage is. Town and City, I like it. Higher ceiling. It's going to give him a little bit more room to work with as well. Plus, we got that platform layout. So, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, opening up game two, staying the same characters. And after that, first, that really close first game one, let's see what you got here at Nitro. Game two, Wednesday Night Fights. And immediately going to the gyro, sending the tone for neutral. And, but it looks like Nitro's right back into it, just covering all the ground. Yeah, again, that homing attack after down B or side B. Very, very good mix up if your opponent thinks that they're going to try and chase you down. And as they drop shield, you can be hitting them with that homing attack. It is uh, very hard to react to that. It is really. And, uh, yeah, I, you know, I've always had the uh, philosophy that Sonic is a character. Uh, like, Smash has always been a game of managing your fear, and Sonic has always been a character where, with the hit and run and the speed, you know, you kind of get in your own head. I right. want to be able to stop the approaches, because I know I can. It's just I have to be able to react to it in time when you start getting a little scary, your trigger finger gets a little happy, and often you put yourself in a bad position overall. Wow, I'm really going to body block that. Homing attack, really, really good stuff. Tries to explode, but you know. Trees out, and it's, uh, but it cost Ant being off stage. He got the one balloon uh, able to drop back. Almost uh, didn't make it there, but he was able to make it back. It's up to kill Floyd. Oh, usually, like, you know, that, those kind of fairs will set up into the very last, like, Floyd to set up. So it's so, so good. That's the second time we've seen uh, Nitro kind of follow up a, a hit and try to get the forward air. That time it didn't kill. And got a triple turn up into a, 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 a down air. And there's a back throw. Classic Smash 4 style set up. Yeah, almost killed too. That would be so, uh, this is very pivotal to take the right. first stock here. So Nitro doing a really good job. Just trying to not go like super overextend, but he knows he doesn't have the lead. Up throw, not gonna be quite it here. But he does get Villager onto the ledge here, drops the bowling ball on. Almost a really bad situation there for Nitro. Did the uh, side special onto his shield, but Ant not able to capitalize it. We're dead even here. Dang. And they're, they're all at red percents, and you know, it's, uh, it's nerves time for both of them. Forward or not enough to kill. How high are they going to go before they die? Who knows? Ooh, uh, that, that's oh, probably. Oh, not enough either. Yeah. I was thinking of my uh, Smash 4 uh, kill throw options, but those uh, those are a little less powerful in this game. Yeah, see a big kill throw right there. Sonic not able to pull it out. And now Ant is sitting at 173%. When will this man die? It looks like, you know, Nitro's kind of missed a couple opportunities with Ant off stage and Villager just floating there with the balloons. Uh, Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, that was trouble. Back here the wrong direction, though. Wow. The wire here. These players are so close to kill percent. It's actually crazy. Like, at this point, I'm just like, how are these guys going like, to this? Yeah, we're three minutes in, and neither stock has been taken. It's not because they've been camping each other. They've been actually really playing it. There's a throw, and that's a kill. All right, let's see if Ant's able to get some damage in on the stock and survive. It's uh, He's off stage, it's gonna be a little bit of trouble. Nitro not able to close it out. Good neutral air to cover his escape. And he's back in business off stage. 
see that jab is so close to connecting. And you can see Ant's feeling the pressure. He's throwing out some spot dodges in neutral, just trying to avoid options that Nitro isn't throwing out just yet. Okay, and going to make it back. Great stall on the upbeat, avoiding uh, the edge guard there from Nitro. Yeah, Ant, Ant saying that he wants to play a game three. He's having so much fun in the set. And he's doing everything he can to make it happen. And oh my god, Nitro just can knock around this man. And it, it finally took Ant being a little over, overly aggressive and trying to punish Nitro for him to get that stock. He wasn't getting it on his own. He had to, you know, play off a little bit of a miscue on Ant's part. Yeah. It's, it's game three, right? No, it's game two. The first game, there's, there's only one game. Oh, dang. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you were. Yeah, I think maybe. <laughs> it feels like a game three the way that they're playing, but going back and forth. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, ooh, Ant getting, almost getting that backwards from Odin's now you can't cancel spin dash or just like you can't spin you can't cancel spin dash with shield. So it's a uh, it's pretty tough. Like once Sonic commits to that, uh, you kind of just have to shoot it. Oh wait a minute! Oh no, no that back. is so unfortunate. The single balloon not enough. And he got it such an early percent too. Yeah, it went from a huge lead to a huge deficit, and now this is the nightmare scenario for him. He looked like he was in the driver's seat and he fell off the car door pretty much. Oh my god, he's going off stage, but Sonic will survive that, of course, with spring. That always scares me when people use the, uh, the, the quick down airs off stage, and, but they're always able to make it back. So I know that if I threw that, I would have died. <laughs> yeah. Nitro is getting so much mileage off of these homing attacks. It's just like these homing attack mix ups after spin dash. Either on block or even on hit too. Like that move is so good. The wow. up smash on the platform. Wow, the two stock from Nitro. What a play with the up smash. Send, especially on the extended platform as well. Yeah. Gonna get the stock so so early and gonna seal out the entire set. Honestly, with that 2-0. Yeah, kind of read, kind of read into his soul right there, just because um, you know, yeah, Ant holding shield for just a little bit in that situation, unsure of what to do, and you know, when you're holding shield. That shield helped windows away, and it was just enough to lead to a shield poke. Yeah. So, and he closed out the stock. All right, stream, we're going to take a quick break here real quick. Javi's giving me the signal. If you like some commentary, it was uh, CT Lux on the microphone here with uh, 2GG Korean. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll be right back. 